There are only three Steam Deck models, so you might be tempted to think, well, how hard could it be to pick the right one? That's why I'm here. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to pick the right Steam Deck. As I said at the beginning, there are three models of the Steam Deck. The first is the 64 gigabyte model, the second is the 256 gigabyte model, and the third is the 512 gigabyte model. Let's go over each one and see what it actually offers. First, the 64 gigabyte model. Now, as the name might imply, it comes with 64 gigabytes of eMMC flash memory. It also comes with a carrying case. At $399 US, it is the least expensive offering of the Steam Deck lineup. The next version of the Steam Deck is the 256 gigabyte model. At $529 US, this version of the Steam Deck comes with four times the capacity and boasts an NVMe drive rather than the eMMC flash storage of the previous version. It also comes with the same carrying case as its little brother, and it has a Steam Community Profile Bundle, which we don't really have details on yet, but I'm imagining it's a background and maybe some color changes to your profile. Finally, we have the 512 gigabyte Steam Deck. Sitting at $649 US, this model of the Steam Deck boasts the fastest read and write speeds as well as the highest capacity. Though it should be noted that we don't have the exact numbers on read or write speeds at this time. The 512 gigabyte model has premium anti-glare glass, which is meant to reject ambient light and make the screen more legible in bright conditions. The 512 version comes with an exclusive carrying case but it also comes with the virtual keyboard theme, unique to this model. Now, you might be tempted to think, hey, I'm just gonna buy the cheapest model and then upgrade the SSD, but it's important to note that the only intended way of upgrading the storage on this device is with the micro SD card slot. The internal modules for SSD for this device have been chosen specifically to not interfere with the Wi-Fi chip. So replacing the SSD module is not recommended. Besides, the Steam Deck uses the more exotic M.2 2230 sized modules, and you'd be hard pressed to find higher capacity NVMe drives in a form factor that will fit inside the Steam Deck, whether affordable or not. So then, to pick the right Steam Deck for your use cases, you're gonna need to answer the simple question, what games do you intend to play? Are you exclusively a AAA gamer, or are you more into the indie scene? Maybe a mix of both. Let's start with the big budget gamers. If you're the kind of gamer who exclusively plays the kind of games like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto, Battlefront, or other big name titles from mainstream publishers like Electronic Arts, Ubisoft, or Activision, then you'll probably want to spring for the 512 gigabyte version. These massive titles aren't just big in terms of their budgets or their cultural impact, they also use a ton of disk space. This recommendation is especially true if you have a rather slow internet connection, since having smaller internal storage on your Steam Deck means you'll have to be deleting and then re-downloading games more often. Now let's talk about the indie scene. Generally speaking, independent games typically take up far less disk space than their AAA counterparts. That's why you can probably get away with something like the 64 gigabyte model if you're going to be playing games like Stardew Valley, Hades, Deltarune, Superliminal, or Don't Starve. If you're gonna be playing a mix of AAA and indie titles, and you don't mind micromanaging the internal storage or expanding with a micro SD card, then the 256 model should suffice for your needs. Now, what if you're into the emulation scene and want to maximize your potential for emulation on the Steam Deck? That's where the micro SD card slot comes in handy, in my opinion. Get yourself a micro SDXC card in the realm of 256 to 512 gigabytes, no matter the size of your internal storage. A card in this size range should be able to comfortably fit the entire libraries of every 8, 16, and 32-bit console without compromises, with literally hundreds of gigabytes left over for GameCube, Wii, Switch, PS2, PSP, and even PS3 titles, most of which should be effortlessly playable on the Steam Deck through emulation. And even after you get all your ROMs and ISOs on your SD card, you'll still probably have a ton of space left over for uh, some of the less intensive titles in your Steam library. So which one should you get? Honestly, I would probably recommend against the 64 gigabyte model. Not only does it have a quarter of the disk space of its older brother, but it also has eMMC storage, which is quite a bit slower than its NVMe counterpart. Now, if you are not worried about loading times and you already have a micro SD card that you wanna use on this device, you might be able to get away with the 64 gigabyte version, but in all honesty, PC games being the way they are, they take up a lot of disk space already. Now, if you're really just looking for the budget option and you don't really care about micromanaging your Steam library's installs, then you might be able to get away with the 64 gigabyte version, 
but honestly, I would recommend against it for most people. Now there is a contingency of people who are dead set on buying the 64 gigabyte model and upgrading the storage. However, I have to stress this again, the Steam Deck's internal storage is not meant to be upgraded by end users and you're not gonna be able to find a cheap alternative solution for the 64 gigabyte module in the form factor that'll actually fit in the Steam Deck. Plus, you're likely to run into mechanical issues when you open up your Steam Deck's housing or replace the drive. So if you want to get a Steam Deck and you're not interested in risking breaking your machine, then I would recommend getting a 256 or 512 gigabyte model. Now, the major differences between the two, the NVMe versions of this device, are pretty simple. The 512 gigabyte model it includes the laser etched glass that's meant to reduce glare. There is definitely value in this. However, it's going to be up to you to decide if the uh, increased storage capacity and speed plus the anti-glare screen is the right value proposition for you. So what about the community profile bundle and the uh, virtual keyboard theme? Well, honestly, I don't see a whole lot of value in that, but maybe you do. Now, you might be wondering, which version did I pre-order? Uh, I got the 512 gigabyte model, mostly because of the anti-glare screen. And admittedly, I do have a 512 gigabyte SD card on the way as well for my retro games. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe if you like this new format and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the cool things that we're doing here on the channel. There are new videos every Monday and Friday, so stay tuned and as always, have a blessed day.